pour a blessing over me. Hi ladies, so today what I've done is a festive colors inspired look. So if you want to see how I did this and you want to do something like this for yourself, just keep watching. So for time I've already prepped her face. I've done her eyebrows with Elegant Brown Gel Liner. I've done her foundation by Black Opal Milk of Magnesia and I'm ready. I've concealed under her eyes and I'm now using NYX Milk Stick. Yes, it's a stick. <laughs> I just couldn't find it. So I had some extra so I decided to use my brush and just pat it on. So I'm going to continue to put that milk, that eye primer on her eyes. If you realize I'm using the technique of bringing it from the sketch tape to the eyelid rather than from the eyelid to the sketch tape because I want that cool effect. Okay, and I want the eyelid to be more brighter, so I'm just going to be packing that with the eye primer and I'm going to use whatever that remained it on the brush just to use on top of the eyes to, for the color to show through on top of the eyelid as well. Remember, it's a festive color, it's festive look, so we want the eyeshadow to be bright, we want to see it. So the main purpose of me doing this video is to show you guys you don't need expensive products to do this look. You can use what you have at home. I had some Sasha products at home. I had some, well this adhesive, but this adhesive can actually make any eyeshadow pop so long as it's well pigmented. So you don't need to go out and purchase. Just use what you have at home to create this look. You can use different colors. Try it with the color wheel and make sure that you know you blend properly I'm using brown eyeshadow from my rooster dark brown I'm adding it on top of her eyelid a little high not too low because I want when I add that purple on top of it I, I get that smoky effect be sure to blend 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 so I'll be using three of Sasha's small palettes three and four palettes it's Espresso Enigma and the other one I really can't recall its name. It's been so long since I had it. And it's a light purple, a dark pink, a light pink and a green in it. And I'm going in with that purple right now. But I'll be sure to show you all what it looks like during the video. Blend, blend, blend. That's the main thing. So I'm going in with the pink right now, kind of darkish pink. And I'm going to be blending that on top of the purple. And then I'm going to be putting it on the lid as well to show more definition. Holy Spirit be my comfort. Lord knows me need that. Just be my comforter. It's a no question that me love for you. So I'm going to be using a yellow from the palette Enigma from Sasha on the inner eyelids. I'm going to be patting that in because I want that yellow to show. As you can see, as I said, a small palette, very small. <laughs> So I'm going in now with that same eyeshadow palette that I told you I have no idea of the new one. And I'm going to be using the light pink, baby pink, in the middle of the eyelids. And I'm going to be blending that in with the yellow one also with the dark pink that it has on the outside. So I'm going to be blending in that purple, make sure I blend, blend, blend. And when I'm through, I'm going to be adding a palette from Sasha called Espresso. I'm going to be using a light brown with just a hint of shimmer in it, as you can see now. 
know say me God just a lead me all time Me nah follow no fear, no phone, no time And what type of disrespect say my God Say me know even my pick me nah even that mad so now I'm going in with some blue star from Ambrosia Cosmetics with an angle brush and putting it over the purple which is actually the creasing of her eyes. They have really nice stars. They have gold star, blue star, silver star, red star. Yes, they have a lot of colored stars so you all can check it out. Alright, especially for this season. It's really nice. It shimmers. It moves. It does not actually move from where you put it. It stays in place but when the light hits it, it moves a lot. It's Beautiful. Me can't stop from do that. What if I comfort in a Jesus? That's right. Mama teach me always Some of that color seem to have came off, so I'm adding back some of that pink, that dark pink. I have added the light pink and some of the yellow, and I'm now going to be using that same line, that margin from the tape. I'm going to be using that as a margin for my winged eye. No question that me love her for you All the goodness you perform, yeah Just hold me down, no Holy Spirit be my comfort Lord knows me need that Just be my comfort I'm going to be using that same blue star With a little silver star To the corners of her eyes Right where the teardrop is The teardrop, yeah and I realized that I would, would have liked a little more blue star just by her eyebrow bone. So I added some more there, as you would see. Proceed to tighten up her eye. Yes. Adding some of that same blue star to the bottom of her eyes now, as well as some blue from that Enigma palette that I had from Sasha. So I'm using Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder under her eyes. I've used it before, but I'm now just using it to dust off some of that blue star that fell. So I'm going to be putting mascara on her top eyelids as well as her bottom. By her request, she didn't want any eyelashes, so we didn't use. But you can use if you choose. It To me, it makes the eye stand out even more, but she had long enough eyelashes to pull off this work, as you can see. I made a little mistake with the mascara, so I'm going to be blending that out with a fluffy brush and then I'm going to be adding a little blue star back over it. So I'm using Sasha brown powder on my face right now. This was my favorite brown powder of all time. Yes, it's still really, really nice. I was actually enjoying doing this, using this product and I'm telling her that right now because it's really fun, you know. Always remember to blend your hairline, your ear, your jawline and your neck so your makeup will look unified. There would not be no harsh lines. So the makeup is starting to come together and she's liking it which is a good sign. I'm using NYX Hot Pink Blush and I'm going to be using Sasha, I think it's Buttercup Bronzer, yes, over that and then I'm going to be putting that same bronzer along her nose, her jawline, her forehead Now on for the lips, I'm using 
topsy-turvy by Arista on the outside of that lip and then I'm going to be using matte pink on the inside of the lips now I am supposed to be doing an ombre effect to blend it in but she doesn't want it to be blending she loves how the two colors mesh and you can see the line so I just try a little thing <laughs> and then I'm going to be using some lip gloss on top of that just to give it a shine she loves her lip shimmery at the end of the day you have to work with your client what your client wants yes you can do your stuff but you have to please them and I can tell you she was loving this as you would see now she is watching and you know <laughs> she's starting to smile so she was well pleased me can't stop from do that What if I comfort in a Jesus That's right, mama teach me Thank you for watching and reaching this far. She was so feeling herself. As you all could see what I told you all about when the light hits the glitter that it moves, it shimmers. Okay, so if you do like it, please give it a thumbs up. Just be my comforter It's a no question that me love for you